Yeah, do well with it. First you got disability ass nigga. Man, you got yo, this nigga sound like a scorn lover protecting quail. Like <laughs> nigga. Woo! What on? Uh, brotherhood is deep sometimes, I guess. Dig, right? Let's start off with you. Five minutes. Short cap, right? Limited bars. You got on a video one day lying and said that you was in Auburn with me. I was walking by the Olas. You wouldn't even know I was Ola. Head down. Got stabbed in the jail. Bozo ass nigga. No respect. You said a lot of things like the jail ain't turned up. You said all type of glorifying things. Or the moment when your big homie, you know, the big motherfucking hurt. Get stabbed, right? This is your rendition of how you felt. You say you was in population with me. Damn, nigga. Like, for fame, you only got less than 3,000 motherfucking subscribers. So trying to push that type of lie, you getting limited spreaded knowledge for these niggas. They probably forgot some of your bars. But you tried to say you was in the same jail with me, downplaying my homage. And I'm a bitch nigga to you, right? I came in a jail where a nigga was in there two years. And all I got is stabbed. Not I took it out. Not Ed the fuck out. Stabbed in the eye. Took a loss. But came right back. Population. After a year, first 30 days, keep locked. Caught with a hammer up in the spot. Did a year, did nine months time cut. Came down, did four and a half, five years in that jail. Three and a half in population. And your bitch ass wanna try and discredit me. You know how many niggas got raised in that motherfucking jail with me and you know how many kings walk through when you talking about Mel Cross, nigga. You know I was dead when he walked through them doors, nigga. You talking about Moshe, nigga. Do you know I was dead with Moshe in the gym, nigga? Moshe. Um I hate when bad niggas get around good niggas, but Everybody gets their time for experiments. Lie too. You said Barry stabbed me and then threw the gun in my pocket. Ho, 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 ho. Take a load of hours here. Oh, um, Mikey. Why are you on a rat dick? I mean, I'm trying to figure out the goal of some of the things y'all niggas say. Like, you ain't even prepping. Like, you let this bitch ass nigga air you out. It's bad enough you let this rat nigga do it. But then, ah, uh, ah, uh, nah, you talking, yo, Big Berry, and let me add on to that. I ain't gonna mention the homie, right? But it was a homie that was cool with Berry, right? And that same homie told the whole population, stand down, stay out that. It was really, fuck him, stay out that shit, because Brooklyn was running shit up in Auburn, right? A lot of mixed reviews on why, but I do know why. A lot of hardship, hatred, little anger, you know, struggles, internal conflicts, unbeknown to a kid that was growing, me. Um, I come up in the jail like, nigga, can I get a gun? Y'all saying no 31 East Side. You got a gun, you got a gun, you got a gun, you got a gun after 10 niggas, no gun. I right. rest in peace, brave day. Go get me a hammer, homie. Why he getting a hammer? He come out, we get busy. I walk out injury, scrape, blood, like a movie. But it's still here, I can see. But I came back to population, Mikey. And you trying to say you was dead? Never. That was C block. I was on that side. You was in A block. While I was in the box, I watched you and my little big homie, Sean Nitty, and a whole bunch of niggas, Q Sean, a whole bunch of niggas, go to war with the Crips. So when you talking new views like Cross was there, when was Tom Cross up in the jail with us? Like, you, you want to say so much shit, like you sound like a nigga on pills, right? It's getting close to five minutes. Let's fast forward. You tried to diss me with Tom Cross and wonder why I got to worry why he got his hand inside a coat. But you can't have no gun in there, nigga. I talked and flipped my fucking rays out in front of niggas. You don't know my type of warfare. You don't even know my story, little nigga. Um, then you don't want to tell the world that you was with me 2006, 2007 in Elmira. But dig this. 
ain't that year, 2006, 2007, the year that they say you was actually doing something with a movie? Yeah, you shot the nigga that accused you yet. Ain't nobody ever say I did anything. The Mook story you hearing out here, this training story, I did you, China, Harlem legend. Just get the nigga. Just get the girl. Just get the whoever and put them out there. Let's get some dialogue with all that story. Go to the homo house. Niggas know I clap. In there, out there. In, out. I'm that type of nigga. But you saying, ah, uh, oh, watch this. Why ain't clap, Tom Cross? That wasn't my job. See, I'm there 11 days. Let's get it together. I'm there 10 days already. I'm giving the message on what I was told. See, you remember, I came up December 9-6. Tom Cross is now an enemy that we have to go follow. Yes, do we want to get him? Certain things is going on. You try to chime in a lot, and I don't even want to have a lot of excuses. But everybody know, just look at this stupid ass shit that you said. Like, you know, my leadership is terrible. This nigga is a babbling fool idiot. This nigga said that, you know, um, Tom Cross and this, that, and the third, and said this. I didn't say some of the shit that you said. Um, look at the story when 050 was talking to Shaquille last time when he was on there with him. He explained that Tom Cross said everything that y'all heard was a lie. So that was another waste of time. Um, you sad, homie. You sound like an author. You know they have all them fucked up typos and all these little cheap hoods, hood knowledge, hoods, hood, hood books. You sound like that in that last shit. I didn't even look at the one with you and Quell yet because I realized it was buffoonery, so it was a waste of time. But then I see you on here second day. You ain't have enough. But you jumped on here with a fucked up story. What you think is my silence on what these niggas are saying about me. You think I'm what these niggas is trying to construct. I'm not here to prove shit where we can play this type of games, nigga. I'm from my 30, nigga. You ain't rock right. You came later on. You had a free pass just because you put in a little one or two Ds. But if you going to be on here and say, I ain't put that twerk in, nigga, when you came to the island, nigga, I'm the name for this motherfucking cypher of first generation leaders that was in that pound, nigga. You couldn't move and be in that building without hearing about me, hearing about the work that just happened if you ain't get to be right there and watch it. But you and them niggas are fucked up off. It ain't go nowhere. You are only as successful as accomplishing a print and copy sold. Ship it here, ship it there. And now you trying to gloat like you something. Hood love, nigga, where? What hood you got love in? What hood you spreading love in? That's all the fame you get. Quell, my nigga. Woo. You look bad, put, you put this nigga up. Look at the niggas you will put up to defend you. Because when you get up there, you just chat, chat, chat. Go on, yo, he want to be like me. He jealous on this. Oh, he going to end up saying this. Yeah, all the things I told you I'm going to say, you just try to leak it, right? It's a difference, nigga. Niggas understand the truth when it's being spoken. I'm not here for the tabloids. not here for the clout. What I want to do is let niggas know that like a bowling ball... I'm the fucked up nigga that will fuck everything up from the gutter to the conception, nigga. You know, he's asking corny shit like, we just was at the wake and that, 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 that. This nigga did an interview while he's out there out of town. You know where the nigga live at, nigga. He dropped it over the airwaves, nigga. You need to ask him, why the fuck you did that when you just was out here with him? With all our family members, you know what I'm saying? Got love for him, but... I was in a circle or nothing but real rights. Past people that was in the fields with me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't dropping no name on this. It's all about you and Quelly. You know what I'm saying? Quelly, you are fucking disappointed. I know every hurt is looking at you like, sheesh, pimp is winning this round. Like this bird was saying I lost a rat battle with Quelly. Like, what battle I lose? A uh, nigga in the field being accused of a whole bunch of fuck shit. That's what ghetto stars supposed to go through. Like, you know, any real G that was down there going through problems had food attached to his name. He only had food in the name. You wasn't banging enough, nigga. You was a corrected ass nigga in the field, nigga. You wasn't a renegade, nigga. You wasn't a loose cannon that saved millions, nigga. But watch this. Um... 
You said that I said you ran in the hood, nigga. I said Ty Guns had the hood, little nigga. Stop playing dirty, nigga. You was not running nothing in Auburn. I said Ty Guns had the hood, little nigga. And I'm done. See, I'm calm. This was like, what, 10 minutes and 12, 13, 14, bye.